strange weather. Roger, sir. We have no constraints to launch. And uh, mission management team. Uh, Jim, the MMT is working. No issues. You're clear to launch. Copy that. And Atlantis, uh, looks like everything's come together here. Looks like a good morning to launch. So, uh, Mike, you and the team have a good rendezvous and a great mission, and we'll see you back here in a uh, week and a half. All right, thank you. Uh, I think all the people for all their hard work here. Okay, I see you preparing Atlantis for its mission to Mir. And NTD, you're clear to launch. Copy that, launch direction. Copy that, launch direction. And the orbiter access arm is now being retracted away from the vehicle. This is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle, and it can be returned to position within seconds if need be. Three main engines are being gimbled as a final test before launch. T minus three minutes and counting, and all is going well for today's launch. This mission carries a crew of six who will spend the next 10 days in space, five of those days docked with the near space station. The orbiter test conductor has requested that pilot Brent Jet clear the caution and warning memory system. Everything looks good, and we're cleared for launch today. So, DC, caution warning clear, and no one expected that. Okay, and flight crew, uh, close and launch device, we need to do it there too. And on behalf of the launch team, have a great night. Uh, All right, Alex, thanks. PLS is going for ET, LH2, Pike Coast, eight seconds. Twelve. Seven. T minus ten. Seven. Nine. Seven. Eight. We have a go for main engine start. We have main engines up and running. Three, two, one, boost to ignition, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on a 10-day mission to dock with Russia's orbiting outpost. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Atlantis, welcome. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Atlantis into the roll to place the shuttle in a heads-down wings level position for the eight-and-a-half-minute ride to orbit. Thirty seconds into the flight, Atlantis's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 67% of rated performance. That will dampen the stress on the shuttle's aero surfaces as it breaks through the sound barrier. One minute into the flight, the main engine's now beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The throttle up call coming up from spacecraft communicator Kevin Kriegel here in Mission Control. Minus, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight, Atlantis traveling at 1,500 miles per hour. Now 10 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles in altitude. The shuttle's three main engines, three auxiliary power units, three power-producing fuel cells, all functioning normally. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster shutdown and jettison that command to come from the onboard computers through the master events controller on board Atlantis.
Booster officer confirms a clean solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging on Atlantis's three main engines as they begin to steer for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. Nominal. 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 Roger, performance nominal. Atlantis two engine maroon. Engine maroon. Those calls from spacecraft communicator Kevin Kriegel to Commander Mike Baker aboard Atlantis indicating that the uh, solid rocket boosters provided the desired performance during the first stage of uh, this morning's ascent to orbit. And if one, en if one main engine should fail, Atlantis has enough inertia to make a transoceanic abort to Marone, Spain. However, all three main engines continue to function by the book three minutes into the flight. In fact, we do have live video at this time of all six astronauts who will be flying aboard Special Atlantis today. Marsha Ivans, mission specialist, is preparing for her fourth flight aboard the space shuttle. And of course, our uh, other astronauts include uh, our uh, commander and pilot, Commander Mike Baker, pilot Brent jet as shown here. Mission specialist John Grunsfeld. He'll be making his second flight into space today. And of course uh, rounding out the crew we have uh, mission specialist uh, Jerry Leninger and mission specialist Jeff Weisoff. Of course mission specialist uh, Jerry Leninger will be remaining in space. He will be staying for about four months until Atlantis goes back to get him. And this is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding. And we have our first look of our commander, Michael Baker, as he is being suited up for his fourth flight into space today. Pilot Brent Jett, of course, giving thumbs up. He's ready to make his second flight into space. Jerry Leninger is going to be going into space this on his second trip but it will certainly be his longest he'll be staying on the Mir space station mission specialist Jeff Weisoff preparing for his third flight mission specialist John Grunsfeld making his second flight into space today and the last member of the crew is mission specialist Marsha Ivans The crew is being led by Commander Michael Baker, Pilot Brent Jett, Mission Specialist Jerry Leninger, John Grunsfeld, Jeff Weissoff, and Marsha Ivins.
Mike Baker is being assisted, uh, being strapped in. Mission Specialist Marsha Ivans has just entered uh, the orbiter. Uh, she is on the mid-deck where she will take her ride into space today. And she is making final adjustments to her uh, communications cap. Our pilot, Brent Jett, is going to be the next to enter the vehicle. And he'll be taking his seat next to Commander Mike Baker. And we're back with pictures of our white room again. Uh, three of the six astronauts have been uh, placed aboard the orbiter. Here we're looking at Jerry Leninger, who will be seated on the mid-deck with Marsha Ivans. He's making, they're making final preparations to uh, get him in. And once Marsha is uh, fully established uh, in her seat, then Jerry will be uh, climbing aboard. This again is a view from the mid-deck of astronaut Jerry Leninger as he is in the process of being strapped into a seat. FCT 567, uh, your fuel cell purge, you gotta go on that. Copy that, can we get a CMTC on 